Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with another part of our Rome 2 campaign with the New World mod playing as Persia. And in today's episode I plan to take Bactria, their capital, uh, from Bactria themselves and uh, probably then make a push for their final few settlements in the east over here, try and root them out of their homelands and then we just leave them with their Pura down here and then maybe uh, we'll also try and do some expansion in the west Try and take a few more settlements from Armenia and maybe even go across uh, the, well, the, the river here, the Euripides, I think it's called, or whatever it's called, uh, and take on uh, Edessa and Hatra. I don't know if we'll take them both on today. We might take one of them. We'll have to see what we how we can do. We need to build an economy again. It's not looking very good. We've uh, built a, like a new army, a new field army. I could do with dealing with a few of Armenia's armies to free us up. Uh, some time to expand into territories because they have a few stacks go uh, loitering. They have a 13 stack there and a 16 stack next to uh, this city of mine here. But if you've been enjoying the content at the moment and would like to see more of this new world campaign, then do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment to show your support. And just keep up all the support that you've been doing so far, guys. It's been excellent as always. And uh, let's try and hit that 2k milestone. And, uh, I'm sure we can get there in no time at all with your guys' excellent support. But uh, I think I'm going to end the turn pretty pr pretty much now. I think there's only like two more turns for Bactria to fall. So we'll uh, see what can happen then. I don't think Egypt will do anything. Uh, Bactria, yeah, they're just moving some armies back into uh, their last remaining territories. They look like they've already given up all their capital. Armenia look like they're starving. Well, that's always a plus. Uh, I can do with them starving. Will help kill off a few of their armies. Uh, it looks like Pergamon. Yeah, they're just moving armies. They've got like nothing left in these armies. Rhodes is falling back. If I can free up the army and uh, like the general there in Bam, that would be great because then I can send him westwards to come and help uh, attack like Egypt and Pergamon because I really like to get rid of those armies. Uh, and there's a pirate fleet. Somewhere in the Bolt, uh, not the Bolt, the Black Sea. Faction destroy the Gete are gone. Um, and then we've got attrition. And the Adi have risen up again. I thought they'd already been brought back once. But maybe I was wrong. But yeah, looks like we're going to take them next turn. Whatever happens. I mean, well, not next turn, but I don't know. Turn after that. They'll certainly have very little garrison left. So Drak has been taken by Bactria in the last episode. So we do have a bit of a enemy behind us almost uh, that we need to deal with bam is slowly getting happier but not like yet it needs one more turn then we can build the next like expansion also we need to keep an eye on pure so it's kind of why we might need to keep the army in bam as well just merely for uh, garrison reasons i could actually go straight for odessa uh, if they've not got that defended um i'd certainly like to send a spy to go and have a look possibly I will send a spy to go and have a look. Uh, but this army, I mean, this army is full, fully uh, healthy, so I could send it, and it's pretty, it's pretty strong. I could cross into their lands here, then go. Can I get to that next turn? No, it still take me a turn or two. So I'll stay there, see what happens. But yeah, I've got my spy. He can come down and have a look. If it's uh, looking good, we can definitely go for it. I mean, they've got armies here that are starving. I've could we strike one of these armies? No, we couldn't. If they keep starving a little bit more, though, I'd be happy to go and strike them. Bring them down. I mean, we've got two fairly strong armies here. I mean, that's, that's a full stack. That's the only, I think, one of the few full stacks I have. But, uh, yeah, it's doing okay. I mean, money, again, still a bit of an issue. But can be uh, sorted if needs be. I could also do with having, well, I could certainly do with beating up Bactria in the east so I can then go and take Zadraka. I'm kind of a bit overstretched. To be honest. Um, but yeah, I'm going to... Well, diplomacy. Let's just have a quick look and see what Seleucids have left. It looks like it's just Antioch and Tyros. Uh, which is not good. Not good at all. Um, yeah, they don't even have... Yeah, geez, they are not looking good at all. I would swore with so many people. Um, can I make any trades with Cimeria? Can I do trade? To receive this embassy. Yes, thank you. Oh, I'm so glad. And now we can see the Amazonians. We can now see the Amazonians. Okay, right. Uh, what is their culture? Amazonian? Okay, of course. Roxlani are at war with the Cimmerius. They uh, obviously don't appreciate that, but I don't care. 
I've now got 1,200 in funds. That was so, so needed. Oh my gosh, that trade is going to like save me. And there we go. Uh, they're going to sally out and attack me. I'm just going to take it like so. I'll take it with 75%. Uh, and I will just murder them. And then Bactria is probably going to be taken next turn. Because they've charged out and they're going to get killed. I didn't really want to fight that one because it's just too easy. Especially if you're just going to sally out like that. Um, Roxelani, I can see a big stack of theirs, though that's not really an issue to me. Pergwon keeps sending a tiny army into my lands. Uh, they're going to give me money. I will I will take your money, 70, uh, 750 gift. Thank you very much. Parthavia have one city left, and they're sending all their armies west. They're to not even defend their city. What is this? Um, let's do industry. Uh, yeah, we took Bactria, just like that. Okay. Uh, we now have better Imperium. Excellent. Bactria, I'm going to convert this to a um, Tower of Silence. And I'm going to put this into... Hmm, let's just make this first a Royal... Uh, I don't know. I kind of want to make it a... I don't want to make it a royal large palace, but at the same time making it a satrap. Yeah, I'm going to make it a large city, a satrap large city. And then I'm going to put in... I think I'm going to put in some exotic animals. Let's do it. Let's have some exotic animals going on here. Oh, they still have Marikandar up here, and they have... Oh, they don't have that one. Okay. They have another city up here. Jeez, they just go on and on. Um, I can't take that anytime soon. Well, that's okay. Can I send you across to go and have a look? Mm, no, let's keep you over here then. Let's see. So they've got a stack here. It's at 11. That's not that big. We can deal with that if we need to. Um, but yeah, no, I think... What should we research now? That is the question. Um, I kind of want to go down quarrying. I could do with probably improving some of these. Certainly could do with upgrading and getting better cities. So I think I will go down that route. Uh, did they kill my agent? No, he's there. There is a Pergamon agent nearby, though. Which is equally probably keeping an eye on. So if Cappadocia is there... Oh, they have no Gara They have no army here. But there is a Rhodian army that's, uh, well, pretty beat. Hmm. I think I could just then buy some Mercs. I could probably take this. And it's actually not full strength. So we might be okay. What they have in the way of uh, armies in Hatra, I don't know. But we could possibly try and go for it. Um, this army, I will bring down to... Well, I'll say I'm bringing it down to Tushpa. I'm going to actually join it up here with this army. The two armies of Armenia can meet up. We can actually get another edict. Um, tax rate could be really good. I'm going to go with tax rate. I, I think we're pretty good for happiness here. Yeah, we can probably afford to take a tax rate. We'll go for Trebizos, Um And then we'll go probably up to take this region and then hold all the cork the, the cork cusses and then we can take amasia next turn um well not next turn but like as a final killing blow and then armenia's dealt with and then we don't have to do anything in the north and it frees up all my armies there uh in the other case of like bam let's build probably a tower of silence here as well food is actually not looking so great now um whether i want to actually build all these. I don't know then actually. I might not want... Is there anything in the... Uh... I don't know. In the way of... Actually, I might... Yeah, I might get rid of that Hoplite Barracks and if I could possibly build, I don't know, something else would be a lot better. Maybe a... Uh... Something that provides food in some form or another. But um... Is there anything I can upgrade on the food on the food stakes actually? Ah here we need to build something here as well. I am gonna build a town guard. Just a town guard. And there we go, that's most of my money spent. It's like oh half of it. I'm not gonna buy any more armies just or any more units for all my armies just yet because the economy is very, very uh fragile. It literally is dependent on one trade agreement with Cymeria. And there you go, Armenia's back. They are starving still, so if they attack me, I'm quite happy to, uh, well, let them. Rhodes has sent his army and abandoned Odessa. I will probably spend most of my money next term actually buying mercs anyway. Just to then 
disband them next turn, but that's that's the joy of it, I guess. Antioch has pirates. I mean, they don't need pirates. Uh, does the sluices right now? They're basically finished. Uh, but there we go, fourteen hundred. We're making in uh, in money. I think that's just down because people are starving. Uh, not starving, or raiding me. But we'll uh, take this. I'm probably going to make this into a food settlement. Yeah, let's just. I might. I don't know. Po mm, there's not many mercs here. Not as many as I'd like. Maybe I'll have to attack it. I'll. Uh, well, it only lasts one turn. So Pokemon don't have an army nearby. We should be okay. Do they have an army nearby? Let's see what they have at Hatcher. They have actually have nothing here, which is my main worry because Antioch is still held by friendly troops. So that should be okay. I bought those mercs actually for no reason now, but we can afford to hold them for one turn. Trebizos, we can take. Excellent. If you have literally no garrison here, wow. Uh, I'll probably send the other army on to Amasia then. Go that way and then. That's a lot closer to take. We can take that one. Uh, there is a Pokemon army there which we can ambush. We'll. We'll do that. Ambush these guys. 91%. I mean, I'm not going to fight these if it's going to be nice and easy for me. Um, yeah, just just murder. Just murder. Um, and I can't carry on. So I'm going to... I'm going to do... Replenishment for all units. There you go. So he's replenishing. Should be fine for next turn. Trebizos we now have... I'm going to have to instantly get rid of that. I could be starving for a turn as well. I'm going to make that into a... I now actually just realized I have a port for once. I'm going to make this into a fishmonger so we have food here. Um, that I will keep the same though. We actually, yeah, we have food for once. Wow, that's kind of new. Very new actually. Uh, and then we'll make you... I can't do food out of the sanitation, can I? No. I don't know if I actually can do food out of any of these uh, buildings in a city. I kind of want to do the slave thing though, because that would be great, just to have like the step slaves and everything like that. It doesn't do anything great for my public order, which I might need to deal with first. Could build a uh, like a siege a siege place, but I'd rather build that in somewhere like in the main part of my uh, empire rather than here. I think we're just going to do an outskirts, help with the uh, the economy, and then I'm going to go and well, I'm going to send an arm, the army up, go and have a look, see what there is. Yep, yeah, nothing here. We'll take this. This is going to probably hurt a lot more. I probably could have actually won that a lot easier, but I could take the losses. This army is not going anywhere anytime soon. And we have slaves here. Oh, okay, maybe I shouldn't have just. Wildly gone in there then. And uh, Town Guard, we will... Yeah, I'll keep that for now, I think. I think I'll keep that. Might need that. But yeah, so I mean, the slaves here, we can probably destroy them next turn. We'll see. The army's a little bit beat, but that happens. Um, I'm going to put... Hmm. Mercery hiring cost... Could be useful since we're doing a lot of hiring of mercs, uh, but I'm going to do missile damage, and then you, sir, can have. Hmm. This is a he's a pretty leveled up guy. This one, upkeep, recruitment capacity, uh, or unit experience. I think I'm going to go with uh, that one there. So it inspires group morale for all carry units, authority cost for cavalry. It's very useful. Um, I actually need to look at my like politics and family tree. Luckily, we've gone back a little bit this way. So that's really good. So we hold a little bit less influence, so it doesn't do as much damage. We kind of want to get to beloved or maybe admired. Uh, it would be really, really good. Um, but we'll see when we get there. Um, you actually... Did you have something there? Yeah, you have a, an upgrade to do. Um, I'm going to give you... Siege. I want to make you like really, really good at like, basically conquering anywhere. Um... Just because, I think it's this guy over here. Yeah, Cyrus here. He literally ha is going to be so good at sieging. Places out. We'll have no trouble. And then you can also have upgrade for archers. Um, Armour for Ish should be okay. He's got a pretty good garrison. 16. These guys are starving as it is anyway. Um, yeah, they're also pretty battered. They're going to be in a real situation soon. Our, 
our um, Armenia, so that's okay. I mean, I could also be in a very soon, soon in a situation because I'm on minus one food, but I am also destroying stuff very quickly to try and sort that issue out. So we'll end the turn. If I starve, uh, it'll be for one turn, I think. Egypt has sent an army back to Hatra. Parthia wants a trade agreement. I'm happy to take that for now. Uh, I don't think they're in any situation of being taken out by the uh, Bactrians anymore. Because I'm probably going to take Bactria out. Armenia is not going to... Uh, well, do anything like that. It's just going to attack me. Uh, Pergamon here is forced to come out and attack me. What would be the damage and losses? I can win this with a lot more loss... Uh, lot less losses so we're gonna fight this battle so i'll see you guys in a moment on the battlefield as we fight pergamon over the city of edessa okay so we are back on the battlefield and well this is how we're gonna set up and uh, i'm just gonna be pretty aggressive because there's no need not to be really these guys are uh, in for a time of their lives they've just got hot plates greek citizens they've got pikes but i'm just gonna shoot them and if they uh, get too close well, then we've got the cavalry, and we can just go into close combat and surround them. We can do all sorts of things. All sorts of nasty things. I'm going to send my cavalry a little bit further wide that way, I think. But yeah, nothing to worry about. I mean, this is their army. They're all going to be corpses by the end of, end of this day. While my men will be victorious. And we'll basically have a land border now with the Seleucids, which is kind of embarrassing for the Seleucids. I won't lie that their vassal is almost coming to their their, vi their aid, but I'm not going to be coming to their aid because I will be conquering them at some point, hopefully. Along the line, we'll conquer them. Uh, yeah, let's just shoot these uh, Flangites. Everyone shoot the Flangites. If you're not shooting Flangites, it's Levy Flangites as well, okay. Or Levy Pikes. If you don't know what a Flangite is, a Pike unit. Shoot these guys as much as possible. And they're going in a loose formation. Excellent, as I expected. No less. And uh, I'm going to bring my cavalry. I'm not going to be really aggressive with the cavalry because, well, it's just normal. Uh, it's not even... My men are actually wavering, though. Wow. Uh, are these archers actually good? No, they're just Greek archers. Okay, well, I'm going to send my cavalry in because I can be aggressive with them. Uh, yeah, they actually did get into combat with my... Uh, my guys. Well, that's pretty rude of them, but uh, I'm just going to shoot them, like I said. These guys are already half strength. And uh, we can probably just charge these are militia hot plates. Eh, we could probably charge these guys down. Let's uh, certainly shoot these guys. Yeah, I'm not going to keep these mercenaries, so I can be aggressive with them as possible. There you go. One unit gone. Uh, can you shoot the general, actually? And put your absolute best targeting on. I expect nothing less. Uh, and just keep shooting the levy flangites. Yeah, I've already lost like half this unit, but like I said, not too worried. I've got my general that can run down uh, archers if we get to that stage. Uh, actually, no, keep shooting them, keep shooting them. Oh, you got core, what by? Oh, militia hot bites. What unit used all its ammo? Oh, the Spar Barra, okay. That is surprising. Yeah, go into combat. Uh, we'll be aggressive then. Oh, they've actually have sent pikes up. Okay. That is kind of not concerning. Just charge them. Uh, you shoot them. Cavalry, come in here, kill all these. General, you need to be on some sort of... Oh, luckily they actually just waved it at the last second. Jeez, that was lucky. Uh, Greek, shoot the Greek citizens. Just shoot these guys. charging just charge these Greek citizens they'll die and this has already been a lot more decisive than it, they say it would have been but uh you never know you just never know the battle is turning in our favor apparently that's excellent to know can you just charge them I did tell you to charge oh that's gonna be a nice volley in the side and his cavalry, yeah, that cavalry's uh, going to get a lot of kills. Oh, 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 this Persian cavalry is so nasty. I need to buy some actually for this army. So this might be the barracks I build along with uh, some more food. Because food's needed in the empire right now. Uh, it doesn't really matter about running these guys down because, well, this is a, uh, a garrison army. I think they literally die 
if they, uh, if I defeat them here. So yeah, not really any of the world. They still have uh, archers here though. Shoot them. And there you go, end the battle. Decisive victory. Uh, 204 kills for my general. Uh, the Cav got 242. That's not bad either. And uh, Sparbara did okay. Actually, 254. It's actually the best kills that any of my army got. They're so good now. I'm so glad that they have uh, archer ability because now they can actually do some initial damage before they uh, go into combat. So they're actually pretty good against, like, well, I'd say most factions. I haven't tried, tried them against Amazonians yet. Which will be the real test. Um, don't know if I'll do that in this campaign. May have to do that in like a multiplayer battle or something like that. Or just in custom battle. Just test it on my own. But uh, yeah, I'll definitely have to try that. See whether that... Uh, that gives them a chance. Because I think per uh, Persia, certainly multiplayer, is one of the weaker factions. And they're going to try and sneak and take a uh, thingy from me. Bactria. And there we go. We're taking Odessa. Food is not good. Um, it is looking shocking right now. Yeah, let's get rid of this. I have a skirmisher camp here. I don't need that. Let's knock that down. Uh, let's convert the food that there. Uh, Trebizos is slowly becoming that. I'm also going to put another farm in here anyway. Um, and then I also was going to push on, basically, and uh, probably take this. So I'll just push Pokemon back. And then, well, I mean, they're starving. I'm also starving. Uh, I don't know what their army would be. Let's have a look if we attack here. Oh, wow. It's uh, still pretty decisive for me. So there we go. Dead. Excellent. So we'll uh, occupy that. And we kill that army as well. And there we go. Ready for battle. And then we'll just uh, probably make this. I can't. There's nothing I can do to make it a food place. I guess I'll make it a trade settlement. Um, it's going to be on my border, though, actually. So I'll make it a garrison settlement. Trebizos really shouldn't be a garrison settlement, but it is. Uh, and then we could actually push up and go and take the final region. But I don't know if. Uh, yeah, I, actually, I will. I'm going to take the advantage. They're attacking me. That's fine. They can do it. I don't know whether them actually raiding me is probably actually damaging my food as well. Probably is. Um, yeah, these guys over here, we're going to try and sneak in and take my uh, settlement. Let's just ambush them then. And put that to 96%. I like those odds. And uh, yeah, we'll just kill this man off. No more slaves. Uh, we'll take the 750. Slave of Rising Crushed. Excellent. Yeah, we don't need to see that cutscene. If you played Rome 2 enough, you know that cutscene. Basically, just go back into slavery. They're also raiding me here. Very rude of them. Uh, not that I can do much about it. I'm so surprised that they've also not attacked from Zdraka and Tehenka, Hen this place here. Because that is literally for the taking for them right now. But yeah, my empire is huge at this point. And I'm still actually a vassal under someone else. But I am literally stronger than probably, well, everyone. I literally now have a land border with Seleucids. If anyone else comes into war, I am breaking away. If they say, oh, we want to, uh, or we we're going to war with such and such. Uh, they can, I'll tell them to go shove up their ass. <laughs> Put it in a polite way. Um, that is that is what I'll tell them to do because there is no way I am fighting another war on behalf of the Seleucids. Uh, no, I'm not going to build that army up. I'd rather build like this army here. And let's get rid of these uh, cavalry. This cavalry is expensive, and these archers. These archers are really expensive. So we'll uh, instead build a new archer unit because I'll have some of them. I think I'll get some. Don't really want horse skirmishes. Um, not at all. So I don't know if I will build that that in, that particular army up. Will I build this one? No, probably not either. Um, I'm going to put Keepers of the Peace in. Um, and what can I build in Bactria? Again, not well. Actually, I don't have an army that he's building. Uh, Susea probably can get stuff. Again, it can only get horse skirmishes. I need to really get the next one armored. Uh, but I need uh, also requires leather, which I don't have. I could convert this to a uh, heavy horse studs or something else, but no real need. Uh, I might bring you actually back just to recruit some stuff then. But 
yeah, look at that selection we have here. That's that's nice. That's what I like to see. I'm going to build some Spa Barrow, and I'm going to build some more Persian Heavy Cavalry. Actually, I'm going to get some Median in there as well. Yeah, that's it. That's all we can get. Okay, that's fine then. Oh, what are these? Uh, Kilkinian Javelinmen. Yeah, you know, I think I had them early on, and they were just not great. So, uh, yeah, I'm not going to get them. Uh, the Army in Bam. What's that? It's plus 14 here now. I am going to move this army on. I'm going to move it all the way up to Media. I want it there. Obviously now, Bactria is going to come strike for me. I'm sure of it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm going to move you to there actually. Since we can do that. And then uh, I'll get you to recruit some stuff in here. Right? Uh, this army here is doing stuff. But again, I don't think Suse is in any trouble. It's got 14 units. Should be fine. You are recruiting stuff here, but only an arch unit, so that's not that's not that end of the world. Uh, you can get stuff here anyway, so uh, hmm. For mercenary units, uh, no, I'm okay with that. Um, let's do commander again. Let's do commander again, and uh, let's end the turn. My spy just moved like an inch. I forgot to move them, uh, both of them. To be honest, I need to move my other one as well, but uh. Seleucids want trade and they demand a hundred. Um, I'll give you trade. Yeah, there you go. It's actually high. I should have actually just demanded like exert extortion amount. I think I'm going to go north next to take out Marikanda, and then I will probably go south. Oh, and they're actually abandoning. They're going to try and take Trebizos, aren't they? Those cheeky people. Right. Uh, well, I will just move my other army there. Oh, Rhodes has got a big army. Oh, yeah, here they come. Yeah, here they come. Okay, right. Rhodes has a huge army here. Wow. Uh, I could definitely beat this. And I I will. I will beat this. Um, so I'll see you on the battlefield for the defense of Edessa now, it seems. So I'll see you guys in a moment. Well, so, I mean... We could have done with keeping that cavalry that I possibly needed then, but um, well, we, you, we learn, we learn, we move on. Uh, my army certainly is a very beaten here, but at least I've got some good infantry. Um, they're mo more than likely, I think, going to come through all these choke points here. I'm going to just set up my infantry, my spar barrow, and like these choke points. I'll keep this one in reserve. Actually, I should really keep that one, send that one in first. But hey, I've got my alam knights here. Got my Persian brig Brigade. I shall put the Alum Knights further back to allow Persian brig Brigade to come first. I've got these Eastern Villages, but they're just ragtag units. They're not going to hold. Um, and again, with these, uh, these all these archers I have, they're not going to hold. My General, uh, there is a bit of interest because I could possibly go and take out this army quickly. But uh, I'm going to hold off. I think I'm going to hold off. I'm just going to put the general again behind the alumni. So I'm just going to start. I'm going to see what happens. Uh, I don't think... Yeah, this is this is all I've got to work with. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I, they might come straight for me. And if they do, that's great. They might not think, yeah, let's wait for our reinforcements. Because their reinforcements, I mean, they've got some hot plates. They've got some good units here. Mercenary hot plates, phalangites. They've got some uh, Hippias cavalry, which is, I presume, their general. Um, but yeah, I mean, if we can kill a general and stuff like that off really quickly, then that's excellent. But if we can't, then might be in a bit of trouble. Uh, let's put all of you actual useful archers off fire at will. But yeah, they have a huge amount of troops. I kind of want to make peace with some of these people as well. Yeah, come on, another volley, another volley. Just form shield wall. Oh, and they're just going to skip on by. There you go. Um, oh, yeah, the next line is Spar Barrack and Fire, I guess, at least. Yeah, just shoot. Shoot these guys. And, well, here they come. Looks like this is going to be uh, this is going to be the fight. Yeah, they're sending forward, like, all their cavalry. I'm just going to shoot the, that, like, skirmish cavalry to pieces. Can you just reform and actually stand like that? If you can't form Shield Wall and behave, then don't form it at all. Yeah, they wavered and went. Excellent. Looks like they are going to come down this flank, so I'll put my other spar barrow here. Clearly, the AI is uh, smarter than it looks. At least the spar barrow, at least as well, should be able to shoot and actually do some damage. They're, uh, 
Does use up quite a bit of their ammo, but not masses. I mean, yeah, these guys should hold in combat. Yeah, here comes all their like normal, uh, their normal army, I guess you could call it. I'm gonna put these ones here. They can shoot on behalf of them. Oh, they're actually gonna just charge in. Excellent. Right, just I think. Yeah, they might just charge in. They look like they were gonna. Damn. No, 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 no. no. Hold your ground. Hold your ground. Hold your ground. Uh, might need to send some Persian Brigade that way, though. Shoot. All your ammo. How are you doing? You're holding and you're winning decisively. As you should. You're literally fighting nothing. Um, actually, I'm going to send your archers that way. Yeah, shoot these guys now, please. Oh, I don't know if that was a good idea. They've now repositioned, but... Oh, we'll see. Oh, the Hippias is actually... Yeah, yeah. Go into combat. Can you also go into combat? Can you start shooting these horse skirmishes for me? Thank you very much. Oh, stop doing that. Stop doing that. Come back, come back, come back. Archers. Behave. Behave. Men of Persia, indeed. Oh, uh, what is this? This is citizen cavalry. I don't think this is of much threat. Archers, come back, you blithering idiots. What, I, what am I working with? I actually don't know. Um, anyway, you shoot these guys now. Blithering idiots is what they are. And look at this. They're all pinned up against the wall. But, I mean, we're slowly killing this army. It's coming in wave by wave as well, which helps. And, yeah, this isn't cavalry. It's, like, nearly finished. Kill them all. Send up some... I don't know. Do we send these guys in here? Shoot Juris. Yeah, shoot these guys. Break them. Send the, back, send the Persian stuff up. I mean, this is nearly all just archers, which I can then just send my... General around and he can go mop it all up. Yeah, we might actually kill this general here. If we can kill this general then, uh, uh... Just fall back. I don't really want you just doing stupid things. Spears go across. Persian Brigade. Go to about there. Yeah, we've got an enemy general. Excellent. Uh, you start shooting them. Start shooting them. Start shooting them. And start shooting them. Start shooting them. Everyone shoot everyone. We're just waiting on the elite stuff, like these uh, mercenary hot plates, which is going to be the real issue. When they arrive, then we're in trouble. And we've got phalangites. Actually, start shooting the phalangites, please. They're going to be the issue. Uh, where's my general? Go outside. You're needed over there. One of my units is all, the, all its ammo. What has used all its ammo? I think it's more Sparbara. Uh, form shield wall. Are these are Greek Javis. Oh, yeah. They, we, we outrange them. We outdo the mill and everything. Yeah, General, go out here. And you need to come around here and start running stuff down. I need to really also get you to flank hard. You are finished here. Go around. You guys shoot there as well. Persian Brigade go in. Oh, this Spar Barra is nearly finished as well. Ah, that's not good. That's not good. Alamnites come up. Alamnites come up. Uh, I guess send up this terrible archers stuff. And just get it killed. Um, bring you around. Bring you around. Um, would you hold? I don't know if they'll hold. Cavalry can run all this down. Please. You need to. Uh, archers shoot here, archers shoot here. What's this? Persian Brigade needs to go in. I mean, at least it's ru like the spar barrow over here is just chase, like forcing a uh, mercenary hotplate to come and run us down. That's a plus. I guess all the villagers go and die here. The men are, the men are wavering. Okay, now Alham Knight needs to go that way then. And then you all need to go that way. Cavalry, please carry on running stuff down.
Get out of shield wall. Oh, the men flee the field of battle. Well, that's fine. That's uh, acceptable losses, we say in the business. And this business is uh, bloody. Okay, right, yeah. Get these guys, these Barbara. Get them. Turn around. Get those mercenary hot fights, I guess. Just catch these guys. Just stop them. You cannot not allow them to get out. Certainly not these pikes. Do not want them getting out of here alive. Charge the flangites. Charge the hot plates. That spar barrier is not going to survive. Actually, I could keep it alive if I just don't do anything stupid. Alarm knights over here. They're chasing stuff down. That's great. Um, chase them down now. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Look at this. Look at this. Glorious. This is a... That is what you call... A Rodian, like, surround. That is getting disgusting for them. And we've got archers all the way over there that need killing. Shoot them. And just them. Uh, alarm knights, take them on. Those hot pipes. Charge them, please. One of our units has used all its ammo. Well, go into combat then, champs. Rearcharge those flangites. Oh, yes. That's so many flangites that are going to get killed off there. And that is going to be a rout. That is it. We did it. I'm going to just end the battle. I don't really want to chase anything down. Um, yeah, I lost a lot. I probably lost a lot of my spar barrack, but I'm going to try and change that to a m infantry barracks anyway. Because I really need infantry in this part of the world. Cavalry is not the end of the world. I'm... If I'm defending now, probably that region, I might go strike out and maybe take Hatra. I don't know, but I'm just going to hold Odessa probably for a really long time. So it, a lot of infantry in there would be really useful. And also just having Spar Barrett in the garrison would also be great. I don't need like that sheer amount of archers. Just give me more infantry. But yeah, I mean, that is excellent. We just dealt that army like a decisive blow. Uh, yeah, all I lost with that, I'm going to release captives. It's going to be so much money. Uh, Rhodes will love me for doing that, but hey, I don't care. I do not care. And uh, we'll just end this turn, and then we'll probably wrap up the episode. I may do my actions, I don't know. Um, I don't think I've got anything exciting I want to do. Um, oh yeah, I was actually going to take out um, Armenia. Persia has a food shortage. Just generally everywhere that Persia has a food I thought we'd sorted our food shortage out, but there you go. Odessa can have food. And we can have a barracks there. But I really don't want to be building more barracks. Amasia, yeah, you see, we now got starvation ourselves. But you don't have a starvation because you're not in our lands. Um, you can take Fasis. Probably shouldn't be doing this, but hey. 95. So yeah, see, this is probably actually going to give me more like stuff that I need to destroy. Um, we'll see. Uh, let's also make this into... I mean, fastest... Uh, I'd rather make you into a fishing place as well. Help with the old... Uh, stuff there. I'm going to put Trebizos's, uh Defense or Garrison here. Just so it's sort of... Uh, well, sort of okay. Nine. See, minus nine now because of that. Mm, yeah, I might also then destroy... This village. Fasis. Because that is doing minus four damage. Eesh, yeah, we can't really afford that. Um, let's put in an Adobe Maker. Artaquona. Um, yeah, I can't really afford to... It's just in like some parts of Persia, I think. I don't think it's everywhere. If you're in a plus, in a plus area, you're okay. Um, let's put in... What's going to give me better food areas? Uh, this one did. So I've already got that. Uh, I could do with a granary, possibly. Let's do a can canal and dam system. Um, that could help. Um, Grand Bazaar would also possibly help, but no, we'll just go with that. I'd like to build more food stuff in parts of the world that needs food. You can't do food. Amasia, you're building food. Uh, I could put that better garrison thing in there, I guess. And uh, Odessa can build me absolutely nothing. Brilliant. Um, I'll just get some slingers into that army. And then let's do force march. 
And that's probably where I'm going to wrap up today's episode, I think. Uh, we've kind of done everything I want to do. I don't really have any more, yeah, like any more purposes uh, purposes in this episode. I kind of did everything I wanted to do. I mean, I'm actually going to get rid of Dharma Stasis as like second. Like that one as well. Minus four, that's pretty atrocious. And there's another one here in Trebizos. Don't need that. Um, so we'll get rid of them. That's going to bring them down a bit. It's going to bring down the economy as well, but I can't really afford to have the economy that high. I will put the wrestling field in though. There we go. So yeah, if you've enjoyed this episode, then please do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment to show your support. And until next time, Legionnaires.